Hey guys, John Rettinger from John4Lakers.com with an unboxing for you of the AT&T Quickfire. It's a new QWERTY feature phone from AT&T Wireless. It's got a touchscreen, full keypad, and a very, seems to be a very full feature device. I'm looking forward to using it and reviewing it, but for the meantime, let's get to the unboxing. So here's a FedEx pack that was sent to me from the PR firm. Let's go ahead and give it an open. Here is the box in typical AT&T fashion with the orange. AT&T Quickfire, the logos for 3G, texting, IM, email, and music. Same logos on the top. Some phone information, AT&T on the side, Quickfire, and another picture of the, of the device. So it seems like this device is meant to go head-to-head -head with the sidekick from T-Mobile. So let's go ahead and see how this looks. AT&T Quickfire right there. And open this up. Inside of the box, we've got Quick Fire Start Guide. Take a look at that in a second. Here is the device itself. Go ahead and put that off to the side and take another look at it. Here's the battery. And here is the charging cable. I believe the phone is made by UT Starcom and ATT branded it. Let's see if this is a proprietary cable or if it's some sort of USB standard. It is totally a proprietary cord right there. It was like a flattened form of USB. So that's good to know. Let's take a look at the other stuff that came in the box. Here's the battery. Let's open this up. Let's see how big it is. We can see right here maybe. This is a 3G capable device, so hopefully it's big enough. It's a 1200 milliamp hour battery, which should be just the right size for a device like this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the phone itself. I'm actually very excited to see this. It's been getting excellent reviews. And it seems to be an ideal phone for the texting and emailing crowd. Just threw it away. All right. Out of the packaging. Let's see, I think it's supposed to slide open. It does. It's got sort of a spring-loaded slide. Kind of cool. Let's put the battery in, let's boot it up, and let's see what she looks like. There isn't a SIM card in there, so we'll see if it still boots up without one. I assume that it will. Alright, battery's in. We'll peel off the plastic. Just down just a little bit more. All right, plastic's off. Let's power this bad boy on and see what it looks like. And I'll do a full hardware review of it, too, so you guys can get a sense of the device and really what it looks like and what all the buttons are about in an upcoming video. So, powering on, get your AT&T logo. I always love these, love these first boot-ups. It really gets you a chance to know the phone a little bit better. I think it's very cool that they added a touchscreen to it, too. that very loud 3G logo. And that's it. That was a very quick boot up. Um, so guys, move the camera back up here. Just a real quick unboxing of the AT&T Quickfire made by UT Starcom. Hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing and I'll do a full hardware uh, review and software review and a full overview of the phone. So stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out the website www.john4lakers.com if you want some exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, www.twitter.com slash John4Lakers. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.